In this video, I will show you how you can connect your social media profiles to Vivout and how you can group them under your dashboard. I'll also answer some troubleshooting questions we often get pertaining to permissions, primarily for Facebook and Instagram. So let's get started. On the left panel under social media, you're gonna see the plus option, or you'll see a button on the first time login that asks you to connect. Either way, they do the same thing. I'm gonna click here and this pop-up will prompt you with all the different channels on the left. Each one is managed individually and you can connect multiple profiles from multiple logins. Note this is not only social media, you can see Salesforce, HubSpot, CRMs and others, and also Google Analytics and Google AdWords. Pertaining to Facebook, you can always connect the profile and it has to go to your personal in order for you to see what are the sub accounts that you manage. In this case, I have two pages I'm managing and these two pages are checked here. If I wanna hide any of them from my scheduling screen, I'll simply take this off and save. That's it. If I wanna connect a new page, I click here. You have to be connected to Vbout and I really would like you to say yes to most of the permissions unless you know what you're doing, okay? Um, I'm gonna just continue in this case. It's asking me what to allow. These are all the pages I'm managing along with all the permissions. If you don't know what you're doing, please do not play with this. Otherwise, you can limit access to certain things. We've often seen people choose to turn everything off and then see the connection or the posting not work. Okay, this is definitely directed directly related to this. We're gonna click continue and that's pretty much it. Now I see all the profiles under me, the ones that I would like to manage on the system. I just choose them here, here, and save. As easy as that. Now I can see I have three pages I'm managing under my profile and one under my partner's profile, okay? We cannot manage personal accounts on Facebook, it's just the business account. A Couple of issues we've seen often when connecting Facebook and particularly Instagram is that you have to make sure that your Instagram page is connected to a Facebook page. This is a recent API thing they've done about a year ago, not that recent. So if your Instagram business account is not connected to your Facebook, you probably won't be able to authenticate your Instagram account. Second, you have permissions in different places on Facebook, which can be confusing for some, but if you go to your personal account, go to your settings, you're gonna note a page which is called business integrations. Here I can see the connected apps and each one of them, by clicking on it, I can see the permissions given or not given, okay? This is really important because what I can do now is I can go ahead and remove VBOT from my access if I want and that will simply remove the connection, okay? Here we go. Now coming back to my connection settings, I, Twitter lets you connect personal or business, LinkedIn personal and business as well, although the business is usually under the personal. And the same way I managed the other side of things on Facebook, I can check, the, check them here and save. Instagram right now is not connected, but I can do it by clicking the same process, okay? Since Facebook took over, they actually have things connected between both APIs, Facebook and Instagram. I can do that, save, and don't mind the posting options. This is a legacy option we had when we did not support direct Instagram posting, but now that is supported inside Vbout. The posting option lets you just get reminders via email, whether it's yourself or your colleagues, that there are certain things that require you to post. Pinterest, you can go through the boards and choose which boards to display. Google AdWords and Analytics, please make sure when you connect to say yes to all the permissions. I've seen people make that mistake often of checking, unchecking certain things like AdWords and then AdWords reporting will not show in VBOT. So this is really, really important. And this is it. Once you've connected, now on the Compose screen, all those profiles that I've chosen, they are displayed right in here, okay? Now let's talk a bit about groups. Groups are like folders of profiles. So I can create a new group right now and I can say this is going to be my uh, new brand. I'm gonna choose what's inside that new brand. 
All right, so let's do this. And you'll notice if you've connected your SMS via Twilio, you can even put SMS into a folder or numbers into a folder. This will help you on the view when we're working with streams. It's another video in this chapter as well. All right, here we go. Now I have a new brand folder, which includes three different profiles in it. I can click add and now it pre-populates it, okay? It works very really well for ease of use and publishing. And also when I'm inside the stream section, you'll see this groups option right here. By clicking on it, I can literally stack my feeds side by side so I can get the most important things from each channel, okay? And I know I'm, I'm gonna talk about this in the following session, but you'll notice the filter. This is the social inbox for the group, which focuses on the most, uh, most important engagement from the group of channels you've connected. All right, this is it, how to connect your profiles and group them together. In the next session, we'll talk about posting through our social media suite.